When it comes to predicting female tennis stars of the future, Transworld Sport has enjoyed a considerable amount of success over the years. Long before they took the tennis world by storm, our tips for the top have included the Williams sisters, Swiss Miss Martina Hingis, Jennifer Capriati, and more recently, Russia's Maria Sharapova. Well, we found another young player who we think you'll be hearing a lot more about over the forthcoming years. Introducing our second new face for 2007, Karolina Wozniacki. The 16-year-old Dane is one of the brightest prospects in the women's game. To find out more about her, we travel to Farum in Denmark, where she lives and trains. Tennis means so much to me. It's a big part of my life. And every time I step out onto the court, I want to play to the best of my ability and do all I can to win the match. When you're out there, in the spotlight, there's a lot of weight on your shoulders. If I win, it's down to me, and if I lose, then I have to take responsibility. The teenager comes from a sporting family. Her Polish parents were both professional athletes. Dad Peter was a footballer, and her mother Anna played volleyball. The couple moved to Denmark from Poland in the late 80s, when her father signed for a Danish soccer team. Born in 1990, Karolina first began playing tennis at the age of seven. It was her older brother Patrick, now a professional footballer in Denmark, who got her involved in the sport. With her natural athleticism, impressive court awareness and sound technique, Karolina rose quickly through the junior ranks, winning countless titles along the way. I play a very tactical game. I think a lot when I'm on the court. During a match, I can work out my opponent's weaknesses quite quickly. My speed around the court also helps me, as does my ability to hit hard when I need to. At the end of 2005, competing against players three years older, she won the prestigious Under-18 Orange Bowl Championship in Florida, considered to be the unofficial world championship for juniors. WTA regulations mean that Carolina is not yet old enough to compete full-time on the tour. Her introduction to the professional circuit has been limited to a handful of tournaments, where she's reached the quarter-finals of events in Memphis and Stockholm. Having parents who have both played professional sport at the highest levels has been of great benefit to Carolina, making the gradual transition to the pro ranks. They have helped me a lot. They understand what I go through as they've been in similar situations. They have stressed to me how important it is to relax when I'm on court and not to get too tense. They tell me always to think positive, but at the same time to realise that I can't win every single match I play. Above all though, they've taught me to always give my best and to be confident in my abilities. I hope she can go all the way and achieve her dreams. She's 100% professional, and we as her family are 100% behind her. We're all just hoping for the best for her. Along with four hours of training a day and competing in tournaments around the world, Carolina also attends school in her hometown, a 15-minute drive from the Danish capital Copenhagen. When the 16-year-old is out of the country, her teachers send her her homework via email. And if Carolina falls behind in her studies, then she's given extra private lessons when she's back home. Carolina's fledgling success on the court has already made her a household name in Denmark, a country with no real tradition in tennis. We caught up with her on the day that she was honoured for her achievements at a sports awards ceremony in the capital. At the age of 16, Wozniacki can compete in a maximum of 11 professional tournaments, plus the Grand Slams if she qualifies. 2007 looks set to be a big year for the Dane and may provide her with the one high-profile win which will bring her wider recognition. In the sports world, the transition from talented junior to adult star is tough. But with her combination of raw talent and desire to learn more about her chosen sport, Carolina may well succeed.
My priority at the moment is just to keep improving my game. The short-term aim is to break into the top 100 and then work my way up from there. Beyond that, my ultimate goal is to be the number one ranked player in the world and to win many Grand Slam tournaments. Remember the name, Karolina Wozniacki.